Hello. All right. What am I going to do today? What am I going to say? What am I doing? One clue. Timu. Angela's Timu. This is my thumbnail. Angela's Timu. It's not my Timu. It's Chinese Timu. Okay. What am I doing lately? I'll tell you. I am trying to always keep my house clean. So I have projects. I finally got my closet all cleaned, put away. This piles of stuff put away. That was a plus. And I also got my kitchen cleaned. That's a daily chore. The weather's kind of overcast. I hope it doesn't snow, but we don't know what the weather is. My husband wants the weather to be good because he wants to go out and plant his daffodil bulbs and whatever else bulbs. I hope he doesn't include me, but he might say, honey, I need your help. Now I'll have to help him because I feel sorry for him. And I do enjoy the daffodils too. So let's begin. All right. Now, I know you saw the purge of the shoes. <sighs> but, 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 anything you say with a but after means you disregard all that you've said first. But they were only $5.75. I couldn't resist it. I'd rather spend $5.75 on this than a ring. Oh, look how beautiful they are. I thought they'd be cheapy. But look at this heel with the gold. Oh, they came in other colors. Now I might, if they fit good and they feel good, I might have to get other colors and then throw away another shoe and replace it. You know, like a pink shoe. I don't really like my pink shoes too much. So if I love these, they do feel good. Oh, I love them. Oh. Am I mad I bought them? No, I love them. I'm so happy I bought them. I would rather have them than another pair I have in there. So I might exchange them. All right, yes. $7.67. I have never had shoes like this before. Do not deprive me of something I've never had before. You might have had them before, but I didn't. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh, they don't look cheap either. Like, some of them are, like, cheap. These are gorgeous. What would you wear with them? Right, let's get both of them out and look at them together. Look. Throw that away. We got to enjoy them together. Look. Oh, well, they're not the same pattern on each shoe. Does that matter? No. I, I just want to slip my foot in it. I just want to see if they're wide enough. And I don't really have a wide foot, but I'm these are these make me happy, so happy. Do you ever get your shoes first and then find something to match them? I do. Okay, they run a little big, but they have a strap around the ankle, so that will hold them in place. I love them for $7. That was a happy pull. Now these are $8.30. This is the last one. $8.38. I don't know why they put these shoes so cheap. Look at this shoe with the gold. Oh. They had these in other colors too, but this color was the cheapest and the prettiest. Oh, I can't wait to wear them. I just cannot wait. They're beautiful. Oh, these are nice. They feel good on, too. How can you not love a good, pretty shoe? I don't understand those people who don't like a good shoe. All right. So... I bought something for myself because I saw other people getting them. And they looked so delightful. 377. 
wish they were tulips, though, because, you know, tulips. We have a yard full of tulips that come up. These are gorgeous. They really do look real. Because why? I don't know why. If you have rose perfume, I have rose oil. You could like put them on them. And look at how beautiful they're going to be. You would not be embarrassed to give these to somebody. Like, you know, in a gorgeous vase. My sister gave me vases. She got married, uh, you know, seven years ago. And she had, she, I, I whistled. She had these beautiful pink vases at her wedding. And she gave me one. These would be beautiful or not. Look at I love them. They had red, too. Oh. These are gorgeous. I might have to get some others in a different color. Because you know how old ladies love flowers. My sister Carolyn, she loves flowers. Carolyn, get some of those. Those are beautiful. I will link it below. Ezra's birthday. His mother wants educational toys. He's two. This one was 188. I think he can do it. Some of the puzzles she said were a little hard for him, but he's smart. He can do this. Now this one was 202 and it's the numbers. And he has, I can just see his little fingers doing the pegs and doing it. He's learned his colors too already. The aunt goes, give me a red piece of candy. And he did, he picked out the red one. <clears throat> Speaking of red, we'll go right into red. 419, you know what this is. The three-tiered thing. I'm not opening it. I'm saving it for Christmas. For $4.19. pennies. I love it. Valentine's Day. Oh, 4th of July. Memorial Day. Christmas. And... What's after the Valentine's Day one? I can't remember. Not St. Patrick's Day. But there's a lot of red holidays. So this is going to be nice. I will be using that for my little individual cheesecakes on that. Now I got these. <coughs> I don't know why I have a cough today. $4.04. And it is a tree house. Is it, no, it's not a tree house. Build your own creations. Ages six and up. This one is going to be for Credence or Jackson. It's not a tree house. It's some kind of a fort that lifts this water thing up. So I don't know what it is. When they put it together, they can tell me what it is. <clears throat> They'll love it. Because when I see them, I always like to give them prizes. This is a dragon for $2.90, and it was a red dragon to put together. So one of those boys, I don't know which one, I'll give him that. And then I got this, one for a girl and a boy. Macy, or I don't know. This one's a red shoe, $2.54. And then the center, you can put pencils in or something. I could see they would love these on their dress. They each have their own dresser and stuff. So for this price, two fifty four, will be a good gift for them. If I I can bribe them to do something, or something like that. All right, forty four cents. I hope this works because I hate when you put things on the walls and stick them there and they don't stay. But I like to have things handy. Here's the stickums. Here's this. We're going to try and see if glasses fit in it. They do. They're not going to scratch the lenses. They're going to be good. Where am I going to stick them? Everywhere. Okay, let's see. I like to do this so these don't get lost. I just stick it onto the thing now. And then when I'm ready to stick it, I won't have to look for these. They'll be there already. So, I'm putting these on here now. There. 
I'm going to put some in my RV by my bed back there because you know how you don't have a good place to put them in your RV. So this will be perfect because you know we're going next month in the RV trip. But don't worry, my grandson will be living here when we go. All right, RV. I don't have an RV pile. All right, I lied again. I said I wasn't gonna buy any more of these until I used up the ones that I have, but they were only 76 cents. Look how cute. So I had to get them. So now I gotta make cupcakes again. I will. I'm gonna make those lobster, red lobster. We have the, we buy the mix to make those muffins, red lobster. I'll make some, that'll use up some. And then, what is this? I paid $1.37 for this, cause I needed it, whatever it is. I know I needed it. They packaged it good because it's breakable. And you know, you do not want these things to break coming clear from China, cause you will get your money back if it is. And they don't want to have to do that because then they're not making a profit. Are they making a profit anyway? We don't know how much. How much do they pay for postage for all this stuff coming over? I don't know. It's another one of these whistles because I bought one. What was the other color one? It was the green and, uh, but look at this. Many, I mean, this crafted, handcrafted pottery thing. It doesn't have any words on it. Orange. It'll match my kitchen. I love it. I want it. I mean, I'm so glad I bought it. It's going to be cute. Okay, what else? Got a few more things here. It's going to be a short video. Without a story, maybe. All right. I had this in my cart forever, and I knew it was little. It's $1.79. I knew it was going to be little. Wish it was going to be bigger, but I knew it was going to be little. And they had two, they had a round one too. Does the lid come off? If the lid doesn't come off, then that's stupid. I don't think the lid comes off. It doesn't, I don't think. But it has a hole in the lid, so you could put a chain on it. And it has holes in it. I thought you could put like, smelly stuff in here and with the holes in it it would be cool maybe the lid does come off and i don't know how to take it off maybe the picture shows it maybe if you went in through a hole and pop it off maybe it'll break if i do that i'll have my husband look at it because he is usually better at but look how cute i could go in my dollhouse this will be the dirty clothes basket in the dollhouse for the bathroom. <clears throat> One ninety eight. Oh, these are so pretty. You know why? Because these are better than some of those. They're they say they're handmade too. But some of the handmade nails, you only get ten. You're screwed unless you have eight fingers. Cause if one falls off, you don't have a spare. So, you know, my son, he only has seven fingernails. Maybe he had, no, I think he just has seven fingernails. So he would be okay by buying 10. These are 24. So if one falls off, you have spares. Oh, uh, but see, look at these. This is going to suck. Because these things, like the ones I'm wearing now, the rhinestones are sealed so they don't get caught in anything. But on these... These hearts, your hair is going to get caught on them and stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to like those. You're going to want to just peel those off. But the other ones are cute. So they will interchange with these other ones I have. <clears throat> I like them. I like them. And I needed, I needed another wood thing and another little tiny miniature a file, and I needed more of these. I wish we could find, I don't use these. I don't know if anybody else does. I wish we could find a use for these to use as stickums in our scrapbook or something. I bet we could, because I've been saving them all. <laughs> I 
I bet we could use those for tape and stuff. And here's the extras. So I can't lose that. Okay. <clears throat> this. 10.39. I hope this isn't a, if this is a duplicate, don't worry. I will give it to someone else as a gift for their birthday or something. Ooh, they give you one of these to shine it up. But I'm throwing this away. No, I better keep it. If I'm going to give it for a gift, you got to give the whole paperwork to it so they know it's worth more. These are earrings. I don't think I have them. I'm so happy. Because, you know, they're moissanite. Oh, they're pretty. <gasps> Very sparkly. And they have this kind of thing that comes up. Ooh. They fit tight. You want it to fit tight, though. You don't want it to come off when you're wearing them. I like these kind. <sighs> I have to use a tool. Okay. Maybe I'm doing... <sighs> I'm doing it wrong. This comes out with a hinge, not just straight up. I could have broke it. Okay, the hinge comes out like this, and you stick it in, and then this comes up. Okay, look at them. Can you see it? It's a little moissanite, and then a cave chain of diamond, moissanite diamonds. And they're going to look so good. Oh, darn. What did I do? I dropped my ivory, my carved ivory. So, this is nice earrings. I'm going to like wearing them. I got to see. Right over here are my other ones. Are these them? Yes. My other Moissanite. I want to see if they're the same. No, they're not. Okay, good. I didn't order the same. These have a drop dangly, and these are not. So, I'm going to put them all in here. I'm going to save this box. When I give these 99 cent ones, I'll put them in that box. And that lady goes, I noticed you buy all the expensive stuff for yourself and you give the cheap ones to everyone else. That's because I'm giving a gift to them and it's nothing. It's not for a birthday. It's not just, just because they came to see me. If you just come to see me, you're not going to get a $10 gift. You're going to get a 99 cent gift. If it's your birthday, you get a $10 gift. But I usually give them money, so I don't even give them a birthday gift. So, like my granddaughters and stuff, they're happy to get anything. And they take them off and leave in places and lose them anyway. So, you don't want to spend expensive on some people. I know you'll agree with me. Some people, you give quality because they take care of things. And they, like your mother, and they'll always have them. But some people, they're just going to lose them. And then it will hurt you that you gave them that much money. And they that's like burning a $10 bill. So I'm just going to give them the 99 cent one to those little kids. All right. That was my small little haul. How much did I pay? I will link everything below in a link that tells you and you can look it up if you want to buy it. If you want to find out how much I spent, you can add them all up yourself. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I bought cheap things that weren't that much money. This was the most expensive thing with the earrings. So, my shoes were all cheaper, too. I got to get go find three pair of shoes to get rid of to put those three pair back in there. All right. Be sure to subscribe and check your subscriptions to me because that's important. And did I tell a story? I didn't tell a story. I'll tell a story right now. All right. We went to Idaho Falls yesterday and we went to chuck around and to eat because Jamie loves to eat so much that he wants to chuck up. Don't you call it that? Chuck up aroma? Rama? Chuck up aroma? Anyway, your drinks are included, so that's good. So we went there and it's never worth it. It was like $14 each. It's never worth it for me because I like to get their roll, I like to get the dessert the cobbler with a little ice cream on it and I like to get a piece of meat. That's not worth $14. But he wanted to go there and it was it said it's a date. So I went with him. Well, then we saw this other couple from our town and they were there 
And I didn't know their names, but Jamie knows them. And so we said hi. And I thought, I hope we don't have to sit by them when we eat, which we didn't. I was glad because, you know, I don't know them that well. So we're eating. And then, you know, you finish your first plate. Then you go get your dessert. And I already know I want to get the peach and the apple cobbler with ice cream on top. Just the little tiny bowl, half and half. Jamie always gets the rice pudding and the bread pudding. Poor man's food. Did you notice the food at Chakarama is usually homemade but poor food? All the poor like baked beans, bread, those bread pudding. They probably make over the leftover bread. And then they had macaroni and cheese and they always have chicken cooked in four different ways. <coughs> potato. I did have a little potatoes and gravy. They were horrible. Probably instant potatoes. The cruise ship's potatoes were much better. Okay, so I'm going back for my second food, and guess who I saw? My favorite doctor that's retired, Dr. Head. And I wanted to go talk to him, but I, I didn't want to embarrass him because, you know, he's seen me naked too. <laughs> but anyway, so I didn't go talk to him, but... He was there. Three different people from my town drove two hours to that town, and we all were at the restaurant at the same time. Isn't that weird? We could have carpooled together. I thought, wonder what stores they went to. But you can tell you're really old when you just go to one store and you go, okay, I'm ready to go home now. <laughs> Jamie went to our garage door, got tweaked, because we both ran into it before, and then he bent it back. So he wanted to get some new panels, but since it's 20 years old, we, they don't make them anymore. We're probably going to have to buy a whole new garage door if we want, if we care. So we went there to check. Then we went to, he had to go to Petco and to PetSmart, both of them. But while he went to them, I was in Ross. I didn't want to go to the Dollar Tree because I already went last time. And I didn't want to spend $40 because I always spend $40 at the Dollar Tree and I didn't need anything. So I didn't go there. And we were thinking about Walmart, but you know, some days you just can't face walking the whole Walmart football fields. That's what I needed. The sour cream in the back, because they sell it cheaper than our one grocery store. So I was always buy like 10 of them because they last a long time. But I didn't have the energy to walk the whole football field back in the back to get the sour cream to save three dollars so i said forget it i'll just spend the extra and get it here in my town now i know don't tell me i know you can order and pick up i know all that but i didn't think ahead and i wasn't going to do that and sometimes your old people don't even want to mess with that going online and figuring it all out so jamie wanted fish food from walmart but we can order it and they'll take bring it to our door so we said, forget Walmart. We're tired. We're old. So we left at 2.30. We left for home after we ate. Now, when we were younger, we got home at 8 at night because we went to a ton of stores. And when you had teenagers with you and they need to go to the Buckle and to American Eagle and to, they have to go to all the mall and all that stuff. But when you're old, you shop different. I do like to shop with pregnant girls, pregnant women. Because they wear out as fast as I wear out. And then we both want to leave. So when Hillary and Emily were pregnant, I love shopping with them. It's like they said, I'm tired. I can't do it anymore. I go, me too. So let's go. So if you're old, shop with pregnant ladies or old other old people. Because it's not my feet was hurting. It's just that I didn't care anymore and I didn't need anything else. Okay. 